my doldrum. This demonstration is part of Gemma Arts Cultural Threads program, which will enable people to try out a fun new arts activity and to hopefully improve your health and well-being. I hope you enjoy it. Okay guys, this is a two-part video. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to hold the sticks. Now, don't worry if you don't have the sticks. Uh, I can recommend some things that you can find in your house that will resemble these doll sticks. The second thing that I'm going to be teaching you is how to strike the drum. Now, don't worry again if you don't have the drum. I can probably recommend a few things that will resemble the drum as well. The third thing that I'm going to be teaching you are the note names. Every time you strike the drum, there's a corresponding name or a note or a syllable, uh, whatever you want to call it. Finally, I'll be giving you some exercises to help you develop your coordination using the note names, speaking the note names, playing them together, playing them separately, whatever you like. Doll sticks. Two sticks. We've got a thinner stick, a thinly, which I would use to keep on my right hand. I'll show you how to hold those in a second. Uh, and then in my left hand, I have the dugger, which is uh, a thicker stick. Now, as I was saying, if you don't have these, then have a look in your house to see if you can grab hold of anything that resembles those sticks. So I have something here for you now. So I found a skewer. You might find these in your kitchen. If not, then have a look for something else in your house that re resembles uh, a thilly. Now, I know it's not the same height, um, but you can still hold it and you'll, you'll get enough action on the, on the door or whatever you're using um, to resemble it in me. Um, and I also have uh, a wooden spoon as well. And this will hopefully replicate that. Believe it or not, when I was young and I didn't have a doll and I didn't have doll sticks, um, I, used to use, I used to use a spoon like that. Uh, and I didn't have a skewer, I used to use a plastic straw. Um, some of the kiddie straws with the, with the swirls can be quite good because you might have um, a bit of a grip to hold on to as well. So those are your sticks. I'll show you how to hold them. Okay guys, holding the dilly. I usually start off by keeping this face downwards and I just leave a little bit of space toward the top of the dilly. Now, if you're using something smaller, um, such as the skewer, then don't worry about keeping that distance. Um, start by pinching with your thumb and index finger and then I usually just rest my fingers just behind the stick so when you're playing you're using the three fingers underneath to control the action okay holding the dugger I would start by keeping the dugger face downwards hold your hand out now I would keep the dugger so that it is within reach of my hand pinch my thumb and index finger and keep it loose. These fingers can adjust when you're playing different notes on the doll, which I'll show you shortly. Um, but I would keep a nice relaxed grip um, and most of the, the tension uh, and the tightness just around here. Okay, so hopefully you know how to hold the sticks now. And if you don't have the sticks, we're gonna use the alternative sticks. Um, I've moved that doll drum to the side to show you what you could use as an alternative for a drum. Now I've got two chairs uh, with different textures. One side here with the crusty side uh, and then one side which is plastic and then hopefully we can use our, our, our new sticks uh, to replicate what we've got for a doll. Skewer face downwards, we've got our alternative dugger wooden spoon for our dagger. Okay, so the note that we're looking at on this side, which is the treble side of the doll drum, is na. Na. Okay, to play na, remember I've got about this much of a, of a gap at the top of my dilly. Holding the dilly just like this, more with my index and thumb, rest of the fingers uh, are behind the dilly. I'm contacting the skin with about this much of the stick, which hits around this area. If I go any lower on the skin, the sound becomes a little bit muted.
So it's better if we if we aim to hit the top of the skin, close towards the wood, which is called the ginar. And just to show you the difference again, going lower. That is the sound that we're looking for for now. Okay, the next note that we're going to be looking at using the left side and the dugger is gay. Gay. To play this, I am using. I'll, I'll flip this around on this side. Uh, I'm using this this part of the dugger, but I'm using the inside as I'm as I'm hitting it on my left side. So. Gay. To achieve this, what you want to be doing is striking it towards the middle area, but you really want to get that bounce off the drum. And to get the bounce, I'm just holding loosely with my index and my thumb, as, as I've showed you already. Hopefully, you can hold the sticks correctly. Uh, and strike the drum using na and ge. Ge on your left hand, na on your right hand. What is important to remember on the dole and other Indian percussion instruments is being able to speak the notes. If you can speak the notes, then hopefully you should be able to play it. There's a famous saying, if you can say it, you can play it. And I want you to remember that when you're playing the dole drum. So, as a demonstration of if you can say it, you can play it, have a listen to this using just ge and na. Ge, ge, na, na. Ge, ge, na, na. That is just using ge and na and making a simple exercise, which is the first exercise that I would like you to do. So, I am going to play a pattern of Ge Ge Nana and I would like it if you could repeat that pattern as well. So I will say it first and then I'll play it shortly after. Ge Ge Na Na Ge Ge Na Na Okay. That is how I would demonstrate saying it and playing it. I would like you to pause the video there, have a practice on your own, and then come back and then we'll play it together. Okay, excellent. Hopefully you've had a good chance to say it and play it in your own time. This time, I'm gonna say it once and then I'll play the pattern so that you can play it in time with me. I'll play the pattern a few times around so that you can have a good chance to play with the drum. Okay, here we go. Here's the speed. Ge, ge, na, na, ge, ge, na, na. So you've had a chance there to play along with me playing Ge Ge Nana. I'm going to speed it up slightly for you if that was a little bit easy. So here's the speed that we're going at now. Ge Ge Na Na Ge Ge Na Na. faster so that you can see how this exercise can develop into something a little bit uh, a little bit fancier okay
Okay, so exercise two, using the same notes again, ge and na. We're going to use the start of what we've just done, and then we're going to flip it around. So this time, it will go like ge ge na na ge ge na 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 ge ge na na ge ge, just like this. Play that twice. Okay, one, two, three, four. You can pause the video just there uh, and practice that exercise. Okay, exercise three is really going to help that coordination of left and right, ge and na, using the same pattern that we've just started with. This pattern goes like this, ge ge na na, ge na ge na. So, I'll play it. Ge ge na na, ge na ge na. Ge ge na na, ge na ge na. Again, I would like you to pause the video uh, and have a go at doing that. Remember that we should be speaking it first uh, and then playing it after. Give it a try. All right, the next exercise that we're going to do uh, is a twist on the previous exercise. So we're going to start off with the same pattern again. Ge, ge, na, na. But this time we're going to do na, ge, na, ge. So this one should sound like this. Okay, excellent. So by now you should have had a good chance to play those exercises on your own and alongside myself playing the ball. For the next exercise, I would like you to use your own creativity and imagination to come up with your own exercise of ge and na. You can start off with the same pattern if you're really stuck. So ge, ge, na, na, and maybe change the rest uh, of the exercise up yourself. It can be as short or as long as you would like it to be. Once you've got the pattern, I will give you a counting, uh, a simple counting so that will help you with the timing uh, and then play along to me just playing na. So very simple, I will just be keeping the time playing na. Okay, have a go yourself. Okay, we're ready to go. We'll keep the timing simple, nice and steady. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so the final exercise that I'm going to talk you through is actually one of my favourite exercises. I use it as a warm-up and I start slowly and then I even use it during my playing as well uh, quite a lot uh, and it works really, really well. So here are the notes and I'm going to play it at a slow speed. So, ge na na, ge na na, ge na. Say that again. Ge na na, ge na na, ge na. Ge na na, ge na na, ge na. Ge na na, ge na na, ge na. 
ge na na ge na na ge na ge na na ge na na ge na ge na na ge na na ge na so i'll play that a few times round and i'll develop some speed as well so you can hear how it sounds uh, when it is a little bit faster guys there you have it an introduction of the bow drum now if you didn't have the sticks or the drum i'm hoping that you managed quite well without and i would love to see what you've created as well um, even if you don't have these things uh, please send those pictures in uh, or videos if they're videos also any exercises that you created please send those in and we can share them across to other people who are at that stage of starting off on the doll as well the next video I'm going to be showing you how to play the job. Now this is a very very popular beat. Let's see if you recognize it. Okay, if you like that, then make sure you look out for the next video. Now you can do that by hitting the subscribe button, signing up to the newsletter, Maybe just share this video with a friend as well. Uh, maybe someone who wants to learn something new, uh, learn a new, learn a new art, a new instrument. Uh, it's great fun. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you look out for the next video. Thank you.